गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर्स एंड गुड इवनिंग ऑनलाइन व्यूअर्स आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज अपेंडिसाइटिस अपेंडिसाइटिस इज मेनली टू टाइप्स फर्स्ट वन इज एक्यूट अपेंडिसाइटिस एंड अदर वन इज क्रॉनिक अपेंडिसाइटिस सो लेट्स डिस्कस वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अपेंडिसाइटिस सी हेयर माई डियर फ्रेंड्स Itis, itis. I already explained its inflammation and appendicitis. Definition is appendix, appendix, inflammation. Inflammation of a appendix is known as appendicitis. Now we are going to learn about the causes. What causes the inflammation of appendicitis? The causes includes like foreign body. foreign bodies maybe any any particle anything that is foreign for our body is known as foreign bodies another one fecolate fecolate yes sometimes worms worms hormones such called worms sometimes bacteria it's bacteria it's is the most common bacterioids inflammation of appendix and the trauma 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 never forgot trauma t r a u m a trauma now we are going to learn about the alvedo score alvedo score and their points how to diagnose so i am going to this is the criteria responsible for the pediatric acute appendicitis If it is more than seven, then it is acute appendicitis. And if it is between six and seven, so we need to confirm appendicitis, acute appendicitis, with the help of ultrasonography or by the CT scan. So, my dear friends, my dear doctors, here the ultrasonography is not so much uh, informative as compared to CT scan. But CT scan is the most definitive, most accurate. and in case of child or in case of pregnant female there is mri mri is the best investigation of choice so alvedo score i am going to explain you the first one criteria right iliac right iliac region where is the appendix located in the right iliac region my dear friends i will explain you on a um, one patient my patient then i am going to explain on all the signs right iliac pain right iliac pain right iliac pain carries one point i already explained alvedo score alvedo score responsible for appendicitis right iliac pain right iliac tenderness tenderness it includes two points carry two points and right c c i hope is visible for you then right uh, abdomen abdomen tenderness tenderness right lower abdomen tenderness it is right l represent the lower abdomen tenderness carries one point then fever my dear friends fever in appendicitis if fever fever then wbc counts increase mucositosis l e u c o c y t o s i s means the counts of wbc increases it carries two points also fever carries one point counts increases in infection so neutrophil also increase polymorph n e u E R O P H I L E. Neutrophil also increase carries the one point in Alvedo score. Seventh one. If all these things happens, so another also we can uh, watch like nausea occurs and a u s e a nausea and vomiting, my dear friends. Vomiting and if someone is suffering from nausea, vomiting, what happens next? loss of appetite appetite loss of appetite appetite so my dear friends if i want to know what is the most common symptom of appendix most common symptom appendix is appendicitis not appendix appendicitis is pain pain it's pain my dear friends 
what is the most common position of appendicitis is most common position is retrocecal it's retrocecal r e t r o c e a c l e retrocecal my dear friends most common neoplasm of the appendix is carcinoid most common neoplasm of appendix is carcinoid c a r c o n i o d carcinoid n o i d carcinoid what is the most common bacteria which causes the appendicitis is bacterioids i already explained here bacterioids what is the most common diffuse peritonitis complication occurs in appendix due to rupture of appendix in early phase less than 24 hours and one question more i will explain you later okay now it's a time to show you some signs on patient please be get ready and wake up now i am going to explain you uh, firstly we are going i am going to explain this dumpy sign see my dear friends on me this side see what is dumpy sign if i am going to cough <coughs> that time the right ear feels up pain oh this is positive dumpy sign if, if someone is coughing no pain means dumpy sign is negative during the coughing right iliac fossa pain so this time i am going to explain you the rosing sign rosing sign see here my dear friends see 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 here what is this rosing sign so see this is a patient this is a patient and i am going to perform a rosing sign see this is the left side this is the left side please come camera closer this is the left side this is the right side if i press here see i don't want from this side and i am going to press from this side but no pain no pain here no pain in right side radiated why not because this rosing sign is negative no pain radiate here that means the rosing sign is negative because he is not suffering from appendicitis why sometimes in appendicitis pain occurs if i press here if i press here the pain radiate here because some air some infectious bowel also which inflamed here and irradiates but my dear friend next one i am going to explain you so a sign also in this patient so a sign so a sign see see my dear friends now please put up your right leg up 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 and i am going to press no pain he try to flex extension his hip hip portion but i try to pressurize here again so okay no 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 okay no pain here right side so it is so as negative so as muscle here located that's why if no pain means appendicitis no okay another sign obturator sign okay move that side that's yeah 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 you got right left side it and i am going to extend flex see don't move by your i'm going to help you i am flexing his thigh flexing his thigh but no pain in right side it that means it is obturator sign negative and internal rotation of also but near no pain on right iliac fossa which represent no appendicitis and one other sign i will show you see don't move don't move sitowski sign is sitkowski sign sitkowski is patient lying in this position if patient lying in this position means he is suffering from a pain but here no pain on left side when he lying down right side it pain that means sitkowski sitkowski sign is negative then kosher sign kosher sign see 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 again again kosher sign here is the umbilicus umbilicus see here is it the umbilicus the pain radiate firstly the umbilical region and then it goes towards here why it radiates here after some time because here the t10 thoracic tendon nerve radiates here and after that pain radiates there on the right side thank you thank you for cooperation okay i'm going to continue the next one and hamburger sign hamburger these all signs included in acute appendicitis so many times repeatedly asking in examination i hope after my practical uh, point of view uh, you are going to understand all these signs very easily very easily and uh, i try my best to explain you more okay another one i task these all these things differentiate 
the appendicitis how to diagnose but never forget about dd d oblique d it differential diagnosis differential diagnosis like gastroenteritis into susception in children okay sometime ectopic pregnancies sometime crohn's disease sometime ulcerative colitis so never forget never forget sometime peritonitis lymphadenitis so now we are come for treatment treat how to treat i already explained the most common symptom of appendicitis is pain so pain killer pain killer antibiotics antibiotics because an inflammation infection also and if it is by bacteria it's antibiotics pain killer analgesics like opioids opioids morphine okay and what is the best treatment if patient is symptomatic surgery immediate surgery it's an emergency surgery may be two type laparoscopic appendectomy appendectomy and another one is open open appendectomy what are the complications complications complication include peritonitis gangrene but after appendicitis what can happens what we are going to afraid like sepsis like peritonitis these are the complications and if there is a cancer carcinoid we are going to do any uh, colonectomy so my dear friends that's all for today and uh, thankful for all doctors those who are taking a part in my lecture and have a good day if you like my lecture please don't forget to subscribe my videos and if you like please put like on my video if you have any questions any query you can ask me i am always ready to answer you have a good day goodbye thank you that's all